Hi guys, very welcome to my second tutorial of my Houdini rigging tutorial series. In this tutorial I will show you how to create FK setup from scratch. We will use a bit Python to write a script helping us um, not to do the repeating operations over and over again. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Python, just skip this part and just move on. Okay, let's begin. First thing to do is create control object, just press tab and we need a null here and you see this null object have to be renamed first to f, oh sorry, f key underscore spine underscore one. Now we have to align this control object to this bone, it's very simple, just print it underneath. Now we have to reparent it to this guy here. I just um, if you reparent it this way, um, this guy will jump back. You see what I'm talking about? You see we have uh, some um, wrong orientation here. To provide us to doing this, we just activate the skip position when parenting and now we can reparent this guy. As you see here, we get kind of rotation here. We have to clean all rotations. We just saying, oh sorry, just clean transforms. And now we have to connect this rotation of this object to rotation of this bone. It's very simple, we just copy parameter and paste relative references. As you see here, if I now rotate my control object, the bone will rotate also. Now the last thing to do is um, the colorize our control object and lock and lock all unnecessary parameters and yeah change the type of this uh, locator here just press with right mouse button and just lock parameter i just go lock parameter lock parameter and lock parameter you can lock it also now in the miscellaneous tab you can change the color if you like and you can also change the type. I set it first to um, circles here, maybe we will use this one and as you see here now we can just adjust the size of this control object. Okay now it's time for writing our Python tool. Before we move on, I like to mention something very important. Rotation order of this control object and rotation order of this bone has to be the same. And therefore, I like to um, copy and paste relative reference uh, of this bone to this control object. First, we have to, if you um, select the bone, as you see here, we have no rotation order. It's hidden by default. First we have to just show invisible parameter. Just grab rotation order, make, make it visible. And as you see here now I just copy this parameter and paste relative reference here. Okay, now let's move on with the script. I will go line by line and explain what I did in this script. First I used the selected nodes module to get the selected bones. Then I iterate through every uh, bone. I am finding the um, uh, parent space to be able to create the null here with the create node. I can create every uh, node uh, in Odini. 
uh, we will set name uh, using the prefix variable by calling this function and I'm just replacing replacing the name of um, current joint because we um, already properly renamed them all in the last tutorial and I replaced the born uh, string within the born name with this underscore then I move my uh, new created node to the good position mm, for aligning I'm using set first input of my control object to the joint then we activate the keep position when parenting um, then I check if my joint current joint have input or inputs in this case I just set my first input of my control object to the input of my current joint then we clean uh, transforms with this function and this line uh, connect rotation orders of join to my control object and now we just iterate through every X here and connecting rotation of my uh, control object to the current joint rotation and with this um, for each loop I um, lock every unnecessary ad, uh, parameter on the um, uh, control object and at the end we call the function and now I will show you the result of this script okay first I delete my created fk control object and I just delete the channels also now we uh, select our bones that would like to create controls for the order of selection matters and I go here to my Python source editor and just apply as you see here this control objects are created now and what I like to do change the color of these controls just select them all go to miscellaneous I like to have a yellow and also I like to change the type of of the control objects also you can colorize it also here just select them all and colorize yellow um, as you see here I forgot to deselect this uh, bones with a script um, this is uh, this is very um, uh, simple um, the attribute for this is uh, picking if you deactivate it or if you say just set it to zero um, now we are not able to select this bones in the viewport okay now it's time to uh, make this um, or uh, adjust the sizes of this control objects I like to activate the bunny and now you see we just can grab now every control object and adjust its size here you see this one this one is fine and this one a bit smaller then we have the neck one and the head one maybe a bit smaller okay now let's do this for the ears just select the ear bones we go to our source editor 
And as you see, I like to put the left prefix also here and just press apply. The same thing here. We have this four control objects created. Oh, sorry. Just take them all. I will make them a bit smaller. And I change the type to the circles. And maybe we will choose the same one. Um, I like to change it to red for left side and also let's colorize it also in, in the viewport the same thing here i like to deselect these guys and now it's time for for the arm setup as you see here i select one by one the bones and I'll go to my source editor and press apply. Same thing here. I like red. I put them a bit on the top here, to the top, and miscellaneous red. I think I get this one. And now we can make circles. And I like to make them a bit smaller. Maybe this way. Now you can adjust every control separately. For example, you can grab the elbow, make it a bit smaller wrist a bit smaller and these two fingers too and for the clavicle I will use something else I use maybe circles all planes and you see I can make this control a bit smaller but it's now complicated to pick it and we have to do something here I just go inside this control object and create transform node and now we can just bring this control object a bit forward and you see voila we have our F key set up. I can also press D here and make these lines a bit wider. And now you can just select every control object here and just rotate it. You see the bones rotating too. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you like this tutorial, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a question, just let me know. And I'll see you next Monday with iKey Leg Setup. Bye.